Friends today I am extremely excited to tell you that I have discovered another new and free method to create a 100% working Mac bootable USB drive on a Windows computer. Believe me, this method will blow your mind and you will be proud to be a subscriber of MZ Learning. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends you know that I've made a lot of videos on this topic and every time I have tried my best to show you a different and easy way to create a Mac bootable USB drive on a Windows computer. But today's video is truly special, because in this method, we will download the Mac operating system from Apple's website, and then create a 100% working bootable USB of it, on Windows, and this USB will be exactly like the one you create on Apple computer. Excited? Let's get started. In the first step, we will download the Mac operating system, for that, go to this page on the Apple website. The link is in the video description. All old and new Mac operating systems are available for download here. Some operating systems you can download directly from here and for some you need the App Store. We will discuss both of them, but first, we will focus on this portion and then we will discuss this portion. Operating systems that can be downloaded directly from here include macOS Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, and macOS X Lion. Let's download one of them. I choose macOS Sierra because this is the last and latest operating system that we can download directly from their website. If you want, you can choose any other because the procedure is the same. As soon as I click the macOS Sierra link, it will start downloading the macOS Sierra DMG file into my computer. This process will take some time depending on your internet speed. After downloading, go to your downloads folder and here you will see a file named install macOS or something like that. If we create a bootable USB from this DMG file, our bootable USB will not work. And that's because, this DMG file contains Apple's installer, in zip format, in package format. First, you must extract macOS installer from this package file, and then, you will able to create, a 100% working Mac bootable USB drive, on Windows. Don't worry, it's very easy, and we'll get back to that a bit later. Now, go to the step number 2. In step 2, we will prepare our USB drive. To do this, we will need an 8 or 16 GB USB drive. That is completely empty. First, we will prepare our USB drive, and then make it bootable. To do this, plug your USB drive into your computer. Now go to your start menu, and open a command prompt window, as an administrator. Vo vo vo. Please don't worry, you don't have to do anything difficult here. You just have to copy paste or type some simple commands here. So the first command is disk part. Copy paste or type disk part and hit the enter key. Now type list, give a space and then type disk and hit the enter key. This command will show how many disks your computer has. In my case, there are two disks, disk 0 and disk 1. Disk 0 is my hard drive and disk 1 is my USB drive. In the next step, we have to select our USB drive. So I type, select space, disk space, 1, and hit the enter key. Disk 1 is selected. So now we have to clean it. So I type clean, and hit the enter key. Now our disk is cleaned, so we type the next command. Type convert, give a space, and then type GPT. This command will convert our disk into a GPT partition scheme. After that, type create, space partition, space primary, and hit the enter key. That's all. 60% of our hard work is done. Now type exit, to get out of this. Our USB has been successfully converted, to a GPT partition scheme. Now we close the CMD, and go to the next step. In step number 3, we download a free and popular software, 7-Zip. Link is in the video description. After installing 7-Zip on your computer, simply right-click on the macOS DMG file and open it. After opening the DMG file, double-click or open the install macOS folder. Now you will see a file, installed, OS, dot package. Right-click on it, and choose, open inside. Please keep in mind, that don't choose the first option of open inside. Choose the second option, which has this star icon. Now you will see the install OS package folder, open it up. Then, you will see the install ESD DMG file, open it. And here is the folder we need. OS X install ESD. Open it up. 
This folder contains the complete Mac operating system. Copy this folder to your desktop for creating Mac bootable USB drive on Windows. This process will take some time, depending on your hardware configuration. After extracting, click on the close button. Now, we still need to go inside this folder, so we open it. Here you will see, some files and folders, you have to right click on, basesystem.dmg, and click on, open inside. Now you have to open the OSX base system folder. And here is the installer of macOS Sierra. Install macOS Sierra.app. This is the same installer, you normally see in your Mac applications folder. Anyway, open this installer, then open the contents folder, and then open the resources folder. In here, we need to find and copy the install assistant icon file. It's here, so we'll right click on this file and copy it to our desktop. We have copied the required files from the macOS Sierra installer, so we close the 7-zip window and proceed to the next step. In the next step, we have to download another free software, TransMac. It's basically paid software, but its trial version is more than enough for us. The link is in the video description. After downloading, go to your start menu and open TransMac as an administrator. Because we are using the trial version, wait for the countdown to finish and click on the run button. I would prefer to format my USB drive before I choose the restore with disk image option. So I right click on my USB drive and choose format disk for Mac. If you want to give your USB drive a name, then you can give it, otherwise, leave it as it is, and click on OK. Click on Yes. Wait for the USB to be formatted. After that, click on OK. Now we are ready to restore. Once again right click on your USB drive and choose restore with disk image. Now click on these three dots and browse the OSX install ESD folder, which we extracted a moment ago. Open the folder and select base system DMG file. Click on open button. Click on yes. This process will take some time and after the process is complete, you will get a restore complete message. Click on OK and check our USB drive. You can see that I have successfully restored the Mac OS base system to my USB drive. But our work does not end here, we have to store some more files on our USB drive. For this, we will first go to the Tools menu and select Show Hidden and System Files. Click on OK. Now drag the Install Assistant icon file into the OSX Install ESD folder. After that go to TransMac. Right-click on your USB drive window and choose Copy here. Now go to the OS X Install ESD folder. We have to copy Install Assistant, Base System, and Base System .chunk list files into our USB drive. So I select these three files and click on the Copy button. Again, this process will take some time, depending on your hardware configuration. After copying these three files, we have to rename the Install Assistant file. So I right-click Install Assistant file and choose Rename. Now type dot volume icon, dot icons. Please type the exact name I typed here. After that, you have to go to the system folder of your USB drive and open the installation folder. Here you will see a shortcut named Packages. We have to delete this. So I right-click on the Packages file and choose Delete. Now again, you have to right-click here, and select Copy here. Once again, go to your OSX Install ESD folder, and from there, copy the Complete Packages folder, to your USB. If you get this type of error, then please don't worry. Download another software, Paragon Hard Disk Manager. Basically, it's a paid software. But its trial version is more than enough for us. Here you will see that surprisingly, two partitions are created inside your USB. Simply, drag your first partition to the end. A dialog box will open. Just click on, Resize Now. And that's all. After a simple process, only one partition will be left, inside your USB. Now back to TransMac again, and copy Packages folder, into your USB drive. This time you will not get any error. Congratulations!
we have successfully created macOS Sierra bootable USB drive on Windows computer. Let's check the USB drive. Plug your USB drive into your Mac. Press the power button and immediately hold option key of your keyboard. Now select your USB drive from boot picker screen. You can see my Mac is booting from USB drive. After boot, we can easily install the Mac operating system with the help of this USB drive. Now, if you want to create a bootable USB drive of a modern Mac operating system on a Windows computer, just like macOS Ventura, Monterey, or Big Sur, then, please watch this video. The link is in the video description. I personally have been using this method for many years. So friends, hope this video helps you. If this video works for you, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.